Hey, gorgeouses, it's Bri Bri. Uh, let's just say, busy, busy, busy. I hope everyone had a fabulous Memorial Day weekend. I really don't understand what's going on with Memorial Day, but let me just say, I had a fun Memorial Day weekend. I went down to Point Loma to go visit my grandfather. He's buried down there um, with my grandmother as well, both on my mom's side. My dad's side sort of weird, so I don't really even know idea what's going on with them. But anyways, so I went down to visit them. It's so pretty down there. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been down there, but the whole, like, history and the whole, just the houses and everything, so fabulous. I love it. Um, so, and then we went out to dinner, had some, like, some drinks, and got a little loosey-goosey, and it was fun. Ugh, I love my family. So I hope everyone had fun, safe adventures, of course. Um, and if you work that day, I'm sorry. I hope they give you, um, holiday pay or something. Um, and then, but yeah, so school finally out. Thank Jesus. Right. So, um, but I just realized it's been so long since I've checked in with y'all. You guys don't even know like the half of it. Okay. So I had a fashion show as many of you know, um, as far as my major fashion design, all that shit. Oh my gosh. So much fun. Had my first fashion show. My clothes were in it. I was working it retarded. Okay, it was insane. So, I don't know if you've seen it. That's the link to actually go see the video to my line. And then, um, if you actually go to the user, there's a whole bunch of, like, links to the other designers and all the videos and stuff. You can basically watch the whole, like, runway show, basically. There. Not to mention the other designers. Oh my gosh. You gotta check out my friend Nastily. Oh, Natalie. Love hers. Oh my gosh, she did this amazing Egyptian line. Erin did this wonderful, sexy underwear line. Oh my gosh, these guys. Mmm, someone throw some water on me. And then Gavin did this amazing... Oh, his women's suits are seriously, guys, to die for. To die. Seriously, check out all these lines. Oh my gosh, all these designers in this. For students, honestly, seriously, watch out. Freaking, oh my gosh, watch out all these... Mmm loves it there it was two hours long okay so if you watch some of these videos like you watch these runway shows and everything and then it looks all calm and everything one model walking out then another one walks out then another one walks out it looks sort of boring very easy to do and everything meanwhile in the background you are running around with your fucking head cut off okay i was literally running to the nearest naked i saw tits and i ran towards it like i understand straight people now but Maybe not the same reason. Anyways, so I just ran to the nearest naked person I saw and just started throwing clothes on them. I didn't know what to do. So I was just like, what are you getting? And you just throw some clothes on and throw them out. You just, just get it done. So it was really fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, if you go to my MySpace, then you will be able to see pictures too, just some still pictures of my clothes and whatnot. Nothing that I really, really, like, I'm not, like, huge about the line I made, but I'm just happy I got it done because I really made all these clothes in a matter of, like, a month. So, um, with work on top of that and then other classes and stuff like that, and just, it's insane. So, but I'm finally, I'm just glad it's all over with. So, school's, oh my god. It's my hat. Okay, hold on. So, this is the hat I made. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw the show. Um, check out my runway show anyways, because I know you'll love it. So the funny thing with this hat, you won't believe how many pins I pinned in this bitch's hair so this thing wouldn't fall out. It was so funny. The things that go on backstage, the series, as long as it makes it down the runway, that's what really matters. When you start really learning about runway shows, that's really all that matters. Just walk down the 100 yards, that's all that needs to happen, okay? So... Uh, Let's just say we made it work, okay? We made it happen. Over. Um, and then actually two weeks ago, I worked another runway show. Um, Leonard Simpson. I don't know if any of you guys have known him. He sort of mixes theater with fashion show and everything. It's actually pretty fun. I was sort of sitting at the rehearsal, but I volunteered to work the show and everything. It was pretty cool. Met some interesting people. Um, I got invited back. I get to work some more. I'm so excited. Um, it was some fun times. Uh, I just, I love it. You know how you start to do something and you're just like, that's what I want to do. You know what I mean? You just know. Well, I know. So, um, and then, um, my other classes, from my other classes, I had that presentation class. Oh my God. 
right? So I'm just glad that one's over. My presentation class, that was one of the most, like, crazy, insane, stupid classes. Um, and then um, I did, my other class was History of Fashion. And that one, I literally stayed up the night before until, like, 3 or 4 in the morning watching Ellen DeGeneres. And if you guys have never seen any of her stand-up, I was watching her one, Here and Now, or whatever. So freaking hilarious. First up, she comes out all looking all dykey and stuff. I love her to death, okay? She just comes out dressing up like jeans and a long sleeve tee. And I'm just like, makes sense. What the hell is this? What's going on here? I guess I need to get that taken care of. Ooh. But she had the most random things to say. Um, if you, you could probably just YouTube some of the favorite things. But then she went on about toilet paper and about, it just, she was amazing. You guys need to check that one out too. Um, and so, but anyways, I was up to like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning doing homework for that. I waste all this time. And the reason why I say waste is because I probably could have turned it all in later. Because she, not, like, I just checked online just last night. And they're still not even all graded. And I'm just like, what? And this was over a week and a half ago. Like, why do we rush to turn all this stuff in when it's not even, like, graded in a timely fashion? Oh, well. Um, it's all over with. Thank the Lord. And then the classes that are graded, um, did good in. So exciting. Um, and then, of course, I work. Work, work, work. The same. The same. So much fun. Oh, my God. One thing I can tell you that's really fun. Okay, so in the mail, <laughs> I don't get what tickles me about this, but it's really fun when um, I'm freaking out over an insurance card. Let me tell you, insurance is amazing, you guys. If you don't have health insurance, get that shit, okay? My God, seriously? Mm, I love insurance. Because when you get, like, $1,000 worth of medical bills in the mail, not really the best idea, really. <laughs> not so much. So, I don't know any other 22-year-olds that are really excited about health insurance. No, I can't think of any. Can you? <laughs> That's some fun business. Loves it. And to go along with this lovely recession that's going on, I don't know where the hell this came from. But anyways, okay, so I drive a stick shift, and it's really fun to drive nowadays because when you're driving along and your, cl your clutch starts, I'm so glad the recession's paying for these English lessons. Lessons. Um... One thing that's great, I don't know if any of y'all know, what do you want, girl? Sorry, my pussy's going crazy. Hmm. So, when you're driving and your clutch starts slipping, my clutch is going bad. It's been going bad for probably, um, oh, say, about the past month. It's been some pretty fun business. You're driving along. Yeah, oh, I feel sorry for anyone that drives in the passenger seat. So, uh, trying to get some clutch work done and everything. One word, recession. Two words, GM. Has anybody been paying attention to the economy right now? It's going to be really funny because apparently GM is going out of business sometime next week. Appar it's not going to happen, I guess. I don't know. GM says something, but whatever. They're going bankrupt next week sometime. And we're all going to be shareholders. Isn't everybody excited? I know I am. And then, I'm not even gonna touch the gay marriage right now. Okay, I think that's time. That's that. I'll, I'm gonna have to do a whole other segment, whole other blog on it because the gays have gone crazy. Let's just the some crazy bitches. Um. Yeah. Anyways, y'all. Sorry it's been so long, and I will report with y'all back late um, later. I guess. Um. There's some other things I want to talk on, but. Whatever, I just thought I'd give you a quick update, let you know things are great and fabulous. Loves it. Toodles.